Hey guys, what's up? My name's Vic Taylor and today I'm going to be bringing you episode 18 of my Request Anything in Black Ops series. Before we get started, I must say that I am not currently accepting requests. This isn't because I don't like you, it isn't because I don't want to continue doing the series. Quite the opposite, really. I love you and I adore doing the series. It is really fun to try out different guns and I like that warm tingly feeling that I get when I get a good gameplay with a gun I don't usually use. So, you can call me weird, but I don't give a shit. But at the moment I have about 20 requests backed up and because of that I cannot accept any more. I'm sure you guys understand. I want to get them all done and if I start playing the game and I look at my list and I have like 20 requests, it's very daunting. So I want to get them down to a manageable level, a manageable size and then I will get them done. So moving on to the gameplay. I know that usually I run TDM only in these kind of series. Basically if there's anything difficult going on I run TDM because it's easy mode. But recently I've become extremely annoyed with TDM. I'm not even kidding, there seems to be a lot of campers, a lot of guys using the FAMAS and the 74U and I'm just not enjoying it. So I was with a few friends and I decided what the fuck, we'll go rape race and domination. That meant to be rape face there, I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. But, what the fuck. So, the guy who made this request, Duck of Life from Hell 99, which is pretty much just an awesome name right there, is amazing. And his request, the Commando with the Suppressor, the CZ-75 with the Suppressor, Tomahawk, Decoy Grenade, Camera Spike, Ghost, which I have the pro version of, Steady Aim, and Hacker, which I also have the pro version of. He also stressed that I must be stealthy when doing this gameplay. I must creep around the edges of the map, I must keep out of sight of the enemy, off enemy radar, and up till a few minutes ago, or a few seconds rather, I was so stealthy that we managed to get ourselves triple capped. So I'm not going to be so stealthy is that I keep out of the action, because one, that would be boring, and two, you know, see, we're losing, we're getting triple capped, we're getting mauled. So I'm going to be up in their faces a little bit more than, you know, stealth would suggest. But let's start off, the commando. It's a very good gun, and I'm sure all of you who have checked out my combat record have seen that I hoard the commando when we first started. I absolutely hoard it. I believe it's got twice, if not three times, as many kills as my second favourite gun. I believe that's the 47, but the Galil's getting there, don't you worry. But the commando, it is a brilliant gun. As soon as I unlocked it, as soon as I brought it, I would use it solely, and that's all I would use. I really did like it, and prone blocked gets me killed here. I do not like prone blocked. It's it's bullshit. It really is. I don't know why have prone blocked. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But the silence of the suppressor. Up until about, I think, a couple of weeks ago, I did use the suppressor as well. I've moved back to extended mags now because I just like hip firing and spraying like a boss, I'm sorry. But the suppressor it is a good gun, especially if you are aiming for a stealthy gameplay. You want to keep off the enemy's radar, you don't want to be noticed, unless they've got a blackbird up, you are not going to be appearing on the radar at all. At all. And that is a tool that you can really use. Um, and I know that one of my subscribers absolutely hates Ghost and ho hates this whole stealthy thing, but it does have its place. And I die here for, from a grenade because I thought I still had flak jacket on like a noob. But the secondary, CZ-75 with suppressor. I prefer the python. I don't know why, I just prefer the python. I've not really got anything to back that up at all, but I just prefer the python. I I don't know. But the tomahawk is... I don't know, it's not really useful for me. The type of th playing that I do, the playstyle that I go with, it is not something that I, you know, like and work towards. I don't do cross-map stuff. I don't, you know, have that kind of panic tomahawk reaction. Other than, you know, I think I had one gameplay up on YouTube. I just had a panic tomahawk reaction and took out a second chance user, which was quite cool. But tomahawks they don't work for me personally I like my frags I like my semtexes because sometimes I'd rather have semtexes for my starting grenade spots and I just love doing grenade spots I believe I got a quad grenade on summit the um today and someone else was trying to get it as well and they screamed at me because they couldn't get it because I got it but moving on the decoy grenade I don't use it at all in this gameplay you know my opinion on it that opinion is not going to change um I can really say nothing about the decoy grenade at all. 
The camera spike. You saw that I actually used it one time in this gameplay. It was useful in that situation. I believe he got me four kills or maybe five and I didn't die, which is very useful indeed and I believe I would have died if I hadn't had it up protecting my back. But I don't know. I have this automatic aversion to it because it's specifically a camper's piece of equipment because they just have it watching their back all the time and I know that if you use it you're not necessarily a camper, you could use it for other stuff but the stigma and the stereotype that it has attached to it I'm sounding like I'm doing zombies, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm using long words, I shouldn't but the stuff that it has attached to it, it sounds like it's going to be campy and I don't know. I don't want to camp and I don't want to use shit that will make you guys unhappy or upset or whatever or not like the gameplay. Because I know you guys have said it's not about the gameplay but I still want to get good gameplays for you guys that you won't get frustrated watching. I don't know. Y you know what I mean. But Ghost Pro. Uh, I know my um, YouTube guys do not like Ghost Pro at all. But uh, I don't really either, to be fair, because the same thing with the camera spike, you guys don't like me using it so I don't, and I just, I like flak jacket more. I don't think I could live without flak jacket in a domination match if I was really, really tryharding and going for the win. I don't think I could do it, because jumping on those flags and not getting grenaded, not getting noob tubed, being able to throw those grenades back, it is brilliant, and not having to worry about flamethrowers or napalm is also another brilliant thing. I think flak jacket is the best perk out of the first tier, I really do. And I don't really need hardline anymore, because I used to need hardline to get my kill streaks, but now I really don't need it. I can get the all the high kill streaks and everything, and it's all good. So, yeah, I think Flak Jack is my favourite first perk, and I'm not going to rely on Ghost anymore. Steady aim, specifically. I mean, the reload time without sleight of hand on this gun is just fucking incredible. I mean, I'm sure you've seen me use it. Um, I'm sure you've seen me, yeah. Um, do the reload thing on this gun a couple of times, and it is insanity. It really is. It is so long. And I do not like long reload times, you know that, and I just could not get over it, I'm so sorry. That was one of the major things that just annoyed me immensely. It really did. But then Hacker, obviously, I do pretty much use Tac Mask Pro solidly now, because I hate those flashbangs, hate those concussions, and I basically hate those Novas as well. So, Hacker is good, but I don't often see a lot of Claymores anymore. I really don't, and if I do, I usually have flak jacket to deal with them. So, I don't see that many people using equipment. It's strange, but really the only thing that I've lost from doing uh, tack mask and not hacker is that I can't hack enemy, car enemy crates anymore, which is a bit disappointing, but I got over it pretty quickly. So, it's not that bad. But that is my opinion on this class. It is a good one, and the only thing that I would really heavily change about it is the steady aim, sleight of hand thing. I think I could run with this class comfortably enough if it had sleight of hand on instead of steady aim. That's the one thing that really annoyed me and bugged me. And that's the only thing, which is impressive, because usually I have at least three things on a requested class that I don't like, would change, etc, etc. So... Yeah, it's a really good cl class, and thank you for Ducky for requesting it. I'm sure he hates me calling him that, I do apologise. But it was a really fun gameplay to do as well. I believe I end up with four, no, 34 kills, 10 deaths, with 6 captures and 6 defence. Which, you know, isn't shabby, all, all things told. So I was pretty happy with the gameplay. Ah, and yeah, moving back to something that I said before, how I can get my high kill streaks without hardline anymore. My kill streak setup that I usually use when I'm going for gameplay, because as you know, I don't use the high kill streaks when I'm going for gameplay, because I find it when I watch gameplay on YouTube, if someone gets all their kills with like Blackbird, Job Gunner, Dogs, Gunship, etc., etc., it's boring to watch, it's not entertaining, and I don't want to do that to you guys. So I usually run Spy Plane, which I will always run. It is underrated. It is definitely should be more than three kills. It so much should be at least five, I would say but then attack helicopter it usually doesn't get many kills and I really don't want anything else to be honest so I just bung that on and then blackbird blackbird's awesome but what I was going to say was that I did a lot of games 
tonight. I've just come off and I played with some really good people, some really good friends. And getting dogs is just an amazing feeling, isn't it? Because I've never really run dogs heavily before for a long period of time. But just getting chopper gunner, dogs, blackbirds, just having it all and it's amazing and I'm not boasting I you know I get really pumped and that's the only reason I actually talk at all but it's, it was just amazing but my dogs really didn't do anything so I don't know but this is one of the main reasons I've stopped using care packages because ammo oh and a spy plane wonderful what could be better oh dear and we're about to lose double oh dear but I will see you guys tomorrow I do hope you enjoyed this gameplay Peace guys, thank you for watching.